All right, what's up guys? My name is Thaddeus and in today's video, we're gonna talk about why a lot of you guys are just not generating results or seeing um, you know, those first kind of sales that you want to see when you're first starting off before you can scale up and, you know, explode your website. And like that's what we're going to talk about, okay? So let's get into it. Again, the course is closing soon. 25% off code is in the video description right there. Always plug. Uh, there's a video about the course, like up here or something like that. Uh, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, like testimonials, all that fun stuff, you click that thing. All right, so let's get into this video. And this one, I want. so what was I just saying? Yeah, so we're going to talk about, uh, by the way, I'm sick if you can't tell if it sounds weird. I hope it doesn't sound weird, but uh, yeah, I'm sick. Okay, in this video, oh no, my battery is about to die fuck yeah there's no way i'm gonna record this all right gg game over <laughs> i'm gonna have to charge the battery and then come back here or something like that that's fun you know that's always yeah yeah that's always fun sure yeah fuck i'm recording until the battery dies okay so yeah why a lot of you guys are just not getting sales all right one your website sucks ass your grammar is like off um, you use blurry image guys you want to use the highest quality images you possibly can on your website okay blurry images is like the number one thing that I see um, that a lot of people like they send me the website and then they're like okay check it out let me know what you think one blurry images like you load the site and like what the hell is this okay don't use blurry images two grammar is off okay if you don't know how to like write proper English or something go to like Fiverr or Fiverr whatever that's called hire a copywriter for like five dollars literally five dollars to write your website stuff for you and then you can paste that on your website and it looks like ten times better okay because when someone hits your website and they see that it's spelled like things are spelled wrong or they're like sentences are not fluid or something like that you're throwing you're, like, you're throwing that hard-earned traffic that you like paid marketing for to get them to your site you're throwing that right down the drain like they're gonna bounce they're gonna leave your site after five seconds okay that's one thing now the other thing is your marketing is terrible okay what you might be doing wrong is you know uh, well, like me I always use influencers first right so you might be using the wrong influencers not sourcing them properly Properly. check out that video if you haven't already always plug or if you're in the course you know then like I already go through it all so just say and just say in the courses right there okay so your influencers are not sourced properly okay you're, you're picking shitty influencers or your shout outs are ass okay you're using bad images you're using bad captions and again if you are if you were already using blurry images on your website chances are you might not be using very good quality images on your shout outs okay uh, or just the standard Aliexpress like stock images from those um, from those products right which isn't a terrible thing you can still get sales with those images okay but you just gotta be really careful with and you gotta like white label them so it doesn't look like they came from like a website or something like that um, preferably you want to order them and take your own pictures all right that's what I preach and live by you can make content ten times better than what you get online but yeah so your shout outs are either ass your influencers are ass or your website copies ass. like you can't drive people to your site all right and your shout outs might be good but if your influencers are terrible then there's no traffic all right but the other way around also works like if you find a solid influencer but your shout out is terrible you're not going to drive traffic both of those equate to no traffic okay so you want to make sure that you know what the hell you're doing when you're you know making a shout out and like designing like designing ad copy and designing you know you're getting that picture editing that picture so it looks like it came from your own personal store and people are going to go there and check it out and you know eventually convert one thing too when they hit your site you want either exit intent pop-ups like when they're about to leave your site a pop-up like shows up with a discount code if they enter the email or like follow you on Instagram or something like that right you want something like that you want some sort of pop-up to capture some sort of lead from this person that hit your site you already paid money to get them to your website okay the last thing you want is them just to walk out the door never see them again okay the one way to stop that from happening is if you get some sort of information from them okay have them follow you on Instagram have them like your business Facebook page have them enter their email in some sort of methodology so that they don't just walk right out the door and you never see them again okay that's the worst like that's that's not what you want because you paid money to get them to your website and they may or may not have bought something and if they didn't buy something but they already visited your website it means like they expressed interest already okay so you want to collect those like leads those those warm leads because they've already hit your site so that you can retarget them later with you know either paid ads email marketing or some, something of that nature okay now that's like a few reasons why you might not be getting traction there's a lot a lot of things that play into it like a lot of the small things too that I always talk about like remove the powered by Shopify thing at the bottom of the screen just have have like good website flow so if you're driving traffic from Instagram right Instagram is very visual it's very boxy or squared for their images when when they hit my sites I keep it sort of the same format so they don't feel out of place or like they don't feel like they just came from like a whole new world okay you you bring them to your site and all my images my whole and we're back this is a DSLR camera that I'm filming on the vlog cameras like right there always carry two cameras on me all right not coming from a whole different world right so if you're sending traffic from Instagram you want them to hit your site and like have them have some form of like similarity to your site okay does, does that does that does that kind of make sense instagram is very boxy and visual when they hit my site i like to keep it like 
very visual and like sort of like boxy but modern and simple right so they're not actually like boxes and shit but like familiar keep some some essence of familiarity with your website from whatever traffic source you're bringing in, in like bringing them into like whether you're bringing them from Pinterest Facebook Instagram Twitter like whatever you're doing keep some form of familiarity with that okay just a structure and just to make it easier to convert your sales because ultimately continuity between all the different platforms you're on with whatever brand you're building continuity and like flow from each of these is is super super vital just because if if one of them is a little off the customer will get that and they're like this is kind of weird why is this different from this even though they're the same company right or they're supposed to be the same company so why is it different okay so that's the questions that they're asking you don't want that to happen to you you want them just to hit your site and be like okay this is awesome i'm buy it i'm spend my credit card done 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 all right done deal so that's what you want to happen all right you don't want to like have them visit your site and then then be like what the hell is this this does not look like what i just like clicked on okay so that's 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 another thing that can hinder um, your conversion rates or your, your you know your either whether whether it be driving traffic to your site or driving you know customers to purchase okay so those are a few things that you can do to stop people or just to to, to increase your your the strength of your website like converting power okay if that if that if that kind of, if that kind of makes sense that's what we're talking about and another thing guys is um, I don't see a lot of people talking about this but making your own content for your website for your social media profiles. It's a lot of extra work, which is why I, don't, I which is why I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this, but I touched on this, okay? Um, it's a lot of extra work, but like it's a lot of extra money too that comes in if you if you if you do it right, okay? So what I'm saying is when you launch a store, if you have if you have the patience and the time to wait, you know, 2 weeks for your product to arrive to you from AliExpress, I would order most of your products, okay? Order them to your house. Get a camera, take some fucking pictures with them. Make them look good. Again, in my course, I, I, I show you how to actually edit these pictures. I give you the exact presets that I used for my Instagram page when I was taking pictures and editing them and like throwing them up on there. But always plug, right? Always plug. So that's what I do. Like you, you take your own pictures, you post them on like you can use these for ads, your, your social media, your website, all this good stuff. But it, it makes your brand feel like a lot higher. Like it puts you like these, these, these are regular drop shipping stories, right? Right here. This is you. Like you can't even like like we're up here, okay? We out there. So once you have your own content, it brings a whole new level of like brand difference. Like like standing out from all these other drop shippers, okay? Because a lot of people use the AliExpress pictures. Don't get me wrong, they convert. You can you can get away with posting AliExpress pictures on your site and having them sell or like posting them on Facebook ads or posting them on for shouts and stuff like that. Okay. I did that when I had no money. But once I got money, I was like,